weekend, some local athletes got to enjoy the sights and sounds of Toronto while competing against some of the best at a national event. The track and field team from St. Paul Regional is still enjoying the perks of an exciting trip. The girls were in Canada's biggest city last weekend for a national track meet and they've got the footwear to prove it. And they kind of dressed up the locker room for our school and then they had name tags for all the athletes and, and then all the gear that they received from Nike was, was a real treat. Kind of shocking. <laughs> we kind of just walked in and they showed us all this stuff and you didn't, you didn't even know what to say. The Saints were chosen as the girls' representative for Alberta at the third annual Nike High School Grand Prix. The event features track teams from across the country and Nike went all out in giving the athletes the full pro experience. There's just a little things like walking the kids out to the event or introducing them on the big screen and, and then knowing that all the parents back home were seeing the same thing that we were seeing on the big screen was just, just amazing. St. Paul finished fourth out of 12 teams overall. An impressive feat for a town of just under 6,000 people. I think the team did awesome. I think the girls came out and performed their best and we tried our best and I think we just had great success. Speaking with one, uh, one coach, they had... Uh, their track team has 240 athletes and our school has 375 students so yeah we did really well considering we were a small school competing against some giants the actual event was held on the friday giving participants a few days to enjoy everything toronto has to offer it included a trip to the cn tower and taking in a blue jays game with other teams from the grand prix for some of the girls, uh, they had never been to a game, so they, we all got our own cap. It was awesome. There was a lot, of, a lot of yelling with all the different teams there and a lot of cheering, and yeah, it was really cool to see that. The team will now turn its attention to the Alberta track and field schedule, which kicks off on Wednesday. That is awesome for them. Well, moving on, the 2014 Alberta Summer Games are still two months away, but 36 young football players from Zone 7 have already punched their tickets to the event. Black tent, black tent, no tent. Alberta's largest zone held tryouts last weekend as 70 prospective players look to earn a spot. The coaching staff spent a few days thinking everything over and announced their roster earlier this week. Coaches are excited. We've got a good group, lots of talent, uh, higher talent level than what we expected actually. So uh, it should be good. We're really looking forward to it. Of the 36 players selected, a dozen hail from the border city. Darren Posse believes the Summer Games is a great opportunity for young players to see how they measure up against the rest of the province. Well, this is kind of a showcase for you know the talent, the football talent from all over Alberta. And uh, our first game is against Zone 2, which is the big zone south of Red Deer. So uh, we're going to see some good competition right off the bat. So it's going to be a good barometer as to where these kids, you know, what their skill level is. The team will hold camps in late June and early July to get ready for the games, which run from July 24th to 27th in Airdrie. To the ball diamond, the Northwest Prairie Pirates have been in Saskatoon all weekend long for the Midget Selects Tournament. The team has gone undefeated through its first two games, and this afternoon they hit the diamond looking for win number three. It was a close one, but in the end, the Pirates squeak out a 9-8 victory against Swift Current. With the win, the Double P are guaranteed a spot in tomorrow's championship game.